Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. My name is Amit Patel and you are watching the live show Musings with Software Engineers. Hi Shivam, how are you? Sir, I'm in the second year of engineering and I have completed BSA. Uh, what should I do? Web Android development or machine learning in uh, fourth year? Okay. So, uh, see machine learning machine is machine learning is more like a framework of writing code okay and when you talk about android development okay you are talking about a specific type of application for a certain type of device these two are different things okay for example you can use machine learning within android also okay so I would not say that you learn Android development versus machine learning because these two are not comparable technologies. Android development is a way of development like in the uh, in the past we had desktop development because uh, 10, 20 years back desktops were more popular. So all the uh, software development used to happen around desktops. Okay, so you had desktop development, you had applications which you would build on DOS, disk operating system. Okay, you would build application for Windows or you would build application for uh, Macintosh that is Apple uh, Apple's operating system or you would build applications for other other operating system for IBM. There were uh, there was another uh, OS2 operating system on which you could build application. Okay, Lotus Notes, you could build an application for that, correct? In the similar manner, now either you have web development where you build a web web application uh, similar to a website or you do a device specific application. For example, Android application, which is an Android native application. OK, so that is more about a particular type of application that you are building. But machine learning is a framework. It is a way of writing a code in such a way that your code can learn something from whatever data uh, from, from whatever data it is collecting or machine learning will help in collection of certain types of data as per whatever the data science uh, requirement of the project is correct so machine learning is a framework and android development is a for de developing for a specific device Correct. So I would say uh, go for both if you can. OK, if there is one specialization, then pick the specialization that will be uh, easy for you to clear. Because in, in college, the only thing you should think about is how am I going to get this degree and how am I going to get the best marks? That is what you have to think in college. OK, you don't worry that you are not. If, you can learn a particular programming language and you can master a particular programming language while you are in college, but it is not going to happen that right out of college, you are going to be able to do the kind of software development that is there in the industry. Okay. After coming out of college, you will have to go through a process of learning things which are required for the industry. Okay. And that will happen when you get a job or it will happen during your internship. OK, so at this moment, I would say if you have to choose between a specialization, then go for what is easier for you to clear your subject and what is good for you uh, during that period when you are doing this degree. OK, that, that is what I would suggest. If you love machine learning, then you choose machine. Learning. You still have, I think, one year to choose this. So you decide you, you put some time in understanding what is machine learning put some time in understanding what is Android development and then decide between these two. But I will always suggest that do something which you like more than what uh, everybody says we should be doing. OK, so I, I hope Shivam, this this gives you an answer. Uh, I hope.
I'm going to link all the videos that I have talked about in this video. Uh, the program that I have talked about, A Players, is also in the description of this video. At the end screen, you will see some video. You can go and watch that video. So you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the updates.